Where do you think uh, you guys are as a team right now as you get ready to start Big Ten play and face a uh, physical Rutgers team? Yeah, uh, I think we're just, you know, just building off, um, you know, what we've done in the past and, and, you know, watching film as a team. You know, Coach Holman does a good job of, of, you know, like being transparent with us and being honest and, you know, telling us what we need to know and, and telling us what's good to know at the same time. So, you know, just, just, just keep building off what we've done. And, you know, we've, we played a, we played some tough teams, you know, as of now. So, you know, just get better from that and, and, and get ready. Some of the more, more recent games you've played have been more physical than maybe the, the start of the season. How have you adapted to that? How, how well do you think you've held up to the physicality that Big Ten teams are going to start bringing? Yeah, me personally, it was definitely a wake-up call for me. Like, you know, obviously it's a big jump from high school with, with the pace and the strength. So, you know, uh, me just locking in personally and, 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 you know, just learning from the older guys and, and the coaches as well, you know, what it really takes to, you know, be a, be a Big Ten player and, and, you know, match up with these kind of guys. So, you know, me just kind of flipping the switch here recently and, and you know, just looking to continue growing and, and you know, just showing more on the court and, and doing doing more. Have there been like multiple switches? I'm sure the adjustment from high school to college is one thing, and then like going from you know the couple, first couple teams you played to the teams you played now and you're playing Duke. Like it seems like with the competition has gone up, that's maybe another level you have to adapt to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's been a it's been a constant growth. You know, ever even since the summer, like just growing every day and, and you know stuff like that. But I think the the first kind of five games are, are, are super telling, you know, for you as a person and as a team. So I feel like we, we've gotten a good start as, you know, as a team we are, a bunch of new people and we're gelling well. Everybody's really well connected and stuff like that. So, you know, just just allowing the, the team captains to lead us and, and you know, all of us kind of getting into our real roles is, is going to be important and, and, you know, just keep building like that. What is your mindset heading into your first Big Ten matchup? Um, Obviously, like you mentioned, we're playing a physical team, so um, you know, just just watching a lot of film, breaking down their breaking down their plays and their offense and their defensive schemes, and, and just strategizing against that, and, and just being ready to, to play a physical game. How have the older guys helped you? Uh, really, just with advice, and, and you know, sometimes you get frustrated and things like that, especially as a young player. So, just learning from them and and, and being having listening ears and stuff like that. And, just taking in what they have to say is, is important. Have you said anything specific ahead of this talk about this Um, not specific. I'd say the coaches are definitely, you know, they're definitely, you know, preparing us mentally for what's coming. Like, you know, obviously they're one of the best defensive teams in the country, and much of credit to them. And you know, obviously it's going to be a physical game, so just preparing us mentally. What was the biggest thing you took away from the Duke game, both personally, but then also as as a team? Yeah, personally, obviously, Duke is a super, like, historic and prestigious school. Uh, a bunch of tough players over there. A lot of credit to them again. Um, you know, personally, uh, you know, just just playing harder and, and you know, just kind of continue getting to my spots. My, my shot wasn't falling how it was supposed to, but, you know, something to really stress on. But, like I said, just flipping that switch recently and, and you know, paying attention to detail way more and, and you know, giving a lot more effort and just uh, trying to do more on the court. How much do you have to be aware of, okay, the shot's not falling, but there are other things that I can do to still impact the game, maybe things you didn't have to do in high school to be successful? Yeah, obviously there's there's things like that. Um, you know, I think, you know, obviously the, the game of basketball is a, is, has a lot that goes into it. So. You know, just, just thinking about those things in the heat of the game and, and, you know, executing them is definitely important. We talked to Coach Owens the other day, and he said that players that are as gifted as you are offensively, they really do try to get better defensively because they know it's going to get them on the court more. And he's pra he praised, like, how much effort you've put into trying to improve at that end. What has that adjustment been like for you these last couple of games and trying to defend at a high level and know that that's what's going to keep you on the court? Yeah, just like I said, just paying attention to detail more. You know, obviously offense is, is a lot of details too, but there's a lot of def uh, details on defense as well. So, like I mentioned, like flipping that switch and, and, you know, just locking in really, you know, on the scout as well as the effort side of things. So, you know, it's definitely, you know, I've made, I've made big strides from the summer and I, I'm, I'm going to continue to do that, but I think it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be good the next few games. 
how much of like the, the national feedback you've gotten in particular from like, you know, once you guys had to step up in competition, um, people saying that, you know, like you're one of the most underrated freshmen or you know, rising quick, highest, uh, quickly rising freshmen and, and like a, a tough matchup and stuff like that. How much of that do you hear? And uh, what does that mean to you, I guess, that this early in your career? Yeah, I hear it for sure. Um, you know, it, it feels good, but at the same time, you kind of just, just keep keep your focus on the season and, and obviously, you know, whether it be the case of how it is now or whether I'm getting like thrashed on the internet, like I just continue to do my job and, and, and you know, do it at the best best level I can and you know, just keep listening to the coaches and stuff like that and, and, and you know, fit into my role, whatever that might be, and just keep doing my job. As a freshman class, Coach Holman said that he's trying to make sure he doesn't play you guys too many minutes like all together because he doesn't think as you're growing, he doesn't think that puts you in the best position. Um, are you guys, what is it like when it's maybe the four of you that are on the court together? Um, you know, that many, that many new faces, like what, what is it, I guess just in general, what is it like for you guys when you're out there playing together, two, three, four of you at a time? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Like we, I think we definitely uh, run into a lot of those situations in practice. We're all like the, the younger, the younger guys are on the team versus the older guys kind of, there's one kind of captain on our team uh, leading us. So I think it's a test for the captains and, and us as well in the, in the practice aspect. And, you know, we practice hard and we compete. So, um, you know, I think those situations are important. And, um, you know, obviously it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool that, you know, we get the opportunity to go on the court together. How much do you give the older guys buckets? Uh, I don't know, they come and go. You talked about paying attention to detail on the defensive end. What are some of those specific conversations as a transition on ball defense? What are some of the specifics that you got to pay attention to detail to? Yeah, really everything. Transition defense has been one, you know, uh, like fundamental closeouts and stuff like that. Just and just the effort side of things like sprinting, sprinting at all times and, and giving maximum effort and stuff like that. So, you know, really everything plays into one. It's, it's a lot of stuff that goes into it. So, you know, just lock it in on that kind of stuff. And off the floor, I mean, we got finals week coming up. Uh, just how have you adjusted the sort of college life and being able to balance not only classes, but a full basketball grind? Yeah, it's been tough to be honest. I'm not, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but you know, I've, you know, growing up, my mom has, has always been, you know, on my back about schoolwork. You know, school comes before basketball, and, and you know, without school, I, she wouldn't even let me touch a basketball. So, it's definitely been, it's definitely been an adjustment, like the college life, but um, it hasn't been too hard. I've been able to balance. She's still on me now. Yeah, for sure. You what, what's your hardest change? class? I mean, I don't know if they're hard. It's just a lot of papers, a lot of papers. Guys, how do you pick each other up the freshman class? Like, Roddy had a couple hard games and get some double digits the last game. You had a tough game this too. Like, how are you guys picking each other up after those tough performances? And kind of yeah, um, really, we're, to be honest with you, we're all roommates. So, you know, we're super close. We've been staying with each other since the beginning of the summer, like six or seven months now. So it's been, it's been a, we've had growing pains. You know, it's not going to be perfect, but, you know, we're all super close. And, and, you know, we talk about it sometimes. You know, it's nothing that we can't handle as a group. We talk about it and, and we share things that we're feeling and stuff like that. So, you know, it hasn't been, hasn't been too rough. You guys always talk basketball or are you able to turn it off and play video games and stuff? Well, yeah, for sure. Oh, it's not, you know, sometimes basketball can get overwhelming at times, especially when you come off a tough game or something like that. So, it's, it's cool. To play the same time. What's the go to relaxation activity? Probably video games. Probably okay. not, yeah. Okay. Call of Duty, 2K, anything. Bryce, you mentioned just some of the feedback that you and your teammates have gotten. What about for you personally? Just through your first eight games, where do you kind of evaluate uh, your college debut? Yeah, um, uh, I've heard, I've heard, you know, as far as getting advice, I've heard I've done pretty well on the offensive end, but just continuing to grow, you know, on the offensive end and defensive end. Like, you know, there's always room for improvement, no matter how you're playing. You know, uh, nobody's gonna play perfect, but at the same time, like, there's always, you can always get more effort, or you know, just just leaving the game with, with nothing left, like emptying the tank every game, and you know, just come back and prepare. And play. Is, in a way, is it surprising at all? I mean, you mentioned the success on the offensive end, beating the team in scoring as a freshman in first eight games. Is it surprising at all, or is there still room for you to make that next jump? Yeah, um, I think there's definitely still room. You know, I think. It's a, it's a testament to the work that we put in. You know, we put in a, a great deal of work, you know, throughout these, these first months. And, you know, we, 
don't take any shortcuts and you know we work really hard and we, we don't waste any time or, or movement so I think it's it's a, it's a testament to us and our work and it's been fun so far. Let, let so, Last time out, you guys were the first prep team class. There were four double-digit scores in the game in like seven years. Is that something you guys were aware of? And is that a source of pride that like, all four, like four of you were able to make such a big contribution? Yeah, I don't think, I mean, I wasn't aware of it. I was aware of it after the game. But um, yeah, it's definitely cool. Like, you know, just like I mentioned, like the, the hard work paying off, you know, here early in the season. And, and you know, just, just keep building off that. You know, obviously it gives us a little boost of confidence going into Big Ten play, so I think that's important. You know, confidence is, is something that's very important in basketball, so, you know, just continue to build off that and, and you know, put in the work day in and day out and just, just keep building.